Let's... Hey. <sighs> Drink orange juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. It has vitamin C, which is essential for healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may have healthy benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. So, would you like to buy some orange juice for two dollars? Sure, why not? Yes! Drink orange juice! You'll enjoy it! Cool. Let's give this guy another ten bucks. I will. I I am positive, yup. Yeah. Whoa! Thank you for everything! With that last donation, it looks like I'll finally be able to leave town. I don't think I have much to pack, so I'll probably be leaving pretty soon. I should say goodbye to everyone, but I don't even know how I'm going to break it to my dad. I'll probably let my little sister join though first. Okay, cool. It's time for us to get a, a part-time job at other Mart, I imagine. Maybe? This place looks so big. Hello. I have one job and it's to sell meat. I can, I can buy some meat. Cool. I hope we meet again. My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends are always picking up trash around town. It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over again. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this, that was some A-plus punnage. My husband keeps eating junk food. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. My mom and I are here buying healthy stuff at the other mart because she threw away all the snacks in our house yesterday. I think she's been on a health craze since my dad's been only eating junk food lately. Why can't we do both? You should be able to. A pharmacy, you say? What can I get at the pharmacy? <sighs> Is there nothing I can do? Hey, Mr. Pharmaceutical Man. You kids need anything for cuts or scratches? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Although... Sure, we can, we can hold on to some bandages. Nothing wrong with being prepared. What do y'all say? There's so many types of tamales on the market now. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. In my opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. Fair. If you're feeling stressed, may I suggest some tea? Earl Grey and chamomile are good, but boba is my favorite. I have go heard good things about chamomile. A cardboard cutout of the shop owner. Seems a bit much. Welcome! We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you! Curtsy! It's smiley! Smiley! Y y yes ma'am! Hi hi! It's me! The happy and cheery Miss Candace! What would you like today? Smiley smiley! I have no money. Or else! Good twirl. Okay, we need to get some money. Can I go in there? Is this... Okay. Cannot go through the door. Hello. 
fish? I do need to buy that fish. Hey, job? Okay. Oh, you're gonna take this job? That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go hang out somewhere else. I'll do this job real quick. I give you weapon. You kill flies. Okay? Okay. I got a fly swatter. Now go! No. Oh, no. Oh, please, no. Oh, God. Just die. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate all of this. I don't want to be here. Please, please just die. Mm -mm. No. I shouldn't have taken this job. I shouldn't have taken it. I don't want it. I don't want to do this. This is the worst gaming experience I've ever had. Oh, I'm so upset. Please stop buzzing in my ears. There's, there are very, very few things I dislike more than a fly buzzing in my ear. Like, I would take physical pain over a fly buzzing in my ear. To a certain extent, obviously. Like, I don't want to... I would take a fly buzzing in my ear over, say, losing an arm. But that's mostly because I've decided that I, I couldn't live without, without both of my hands. If I ever lost a hand in some kind of freak accident, I'd probably, I'd probably end it all. It's not worth it. One-handed life ain't for me. Are there more? Do I have to go to the other portions of the store to find flies? Okay. You thought you could hide? Deeked me out. Please. Please be done. Please be done. No more. Are they respawning? I don't see any more flies. Good job. Okay. $20 for that. Hey, Sonny, how'd you do? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready when you are. Okay. I need your fish. I do want fish, yes. Cool. Back to the cat. Now that I have a fish that I can feed it. I found a coin. Used to make wishes, wait. We'll check out that weird biker gang in a second. Would you like to throw a coin in the fountain? I would. The coin fell straight to the bottom. All right. I'm sure that throwing that coin into that fountain was worth it. Wait, don't go. Please. Sorry, dude. I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's Basil! Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Oh, that's Basil. Oh, we gotta we gotta use our Basil voice. Oh, it's just Cal. <sighs> why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? 
Psh. Well, aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Hi, intimidating bike trio group. It's more than three. Oh, hi. I like you. Aubrey? Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sonny. Sonny's here. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Hm, <laughs> whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. <laughs> how, how dare you punch Basil in the face? Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Oh, Sonny, come on. We've got to do something. <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me. How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the both of you. Man. I'm in love with real world Aubrey. What is this music? Go! Gah! What the? Is, is that a knife? Yeah. I mean, you came at me with a fucking nail bat, so don't act all high and mighty. Oh, shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're, you're hurt. I'm, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. <laughs> I'll get you back for this. So Aubrey became a fucking badass. Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there or we would have... Well, wait a sec. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Uh, Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. First? Oh, fine, God. Hey, Basil, how are you doing? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sonny is here too. Say hi, Sonny. Oh. Hey, Sonny. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion! So, did you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I... I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um, my grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Uh, oh, uh, all right then. Thank you. We gon' I. Ah, uh, I just want to feed the cat some fucking fish. Why are you making this so difficult? That's a wormhole. 
That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Sonny? It's on the street that's diagonal from ours from the crosswalk. Hey, cat. There's Basil's house. It's that one with the green roof. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Uh, okay. You're welcome, Basil. Wait. Please, don't go. Uh, I mean, I... I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? W well, she... she won't give it back. What a scumbag! Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sonny got you covered. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, about what you said before... We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> uh. Come on, Sonny. There's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Yeah, sure. Ugh. Man. Doing corpse inflection for for Basil. 100% a mistake. But I love it. I'm really happy with it, and it makes me laugh every time I talk like him. On the inside, of course. You, you're not allowed to laugh on the outside when you're an entertainer. It ruins the joke, as they say. Hey, cat. I've been trying to feed you forever. The cat left a gift? Oh. Oh, it just... It just shit on the ground. I spent ten dollars to earn a dollar. All right. Five whole dollars! Wow. What a glorious day. Oh. Hmm. Looks like Aubrey isn't here. <laughs> yeah. It's it perfect voice acting. Oh, wait. I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is? You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil, and we need to get it back. Is there any way you can help us? Oh. Hi. Who wouldn't wear now? What did you do that for? Ah, if it isn't Cal and that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, you must best me in battle. B battle But I don't want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on, 
Let's sick him, Charlie. Okay, I guess we're fighting Angel and Charlie. Charlie is huge. Can, can this stack? Does this just keep stacking my attack? Oh, no, nope. Sunny's attack can't go any higher. I think you can take one more hit. Basketball to the face! <laughs> you surprised me, Kel. You'd make a worthy rival for my master. I don't like that we don't have our knife anymore. You, you'll pay for this. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Oh, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. <sighs> Okay, Angel, it's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. <laughs> a promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in faraway town. Probably. Dang it, Angel. You better not be messing around, or else I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is... I don't know anything. Angel, you better tell us where she is now, or else I'll tell everyone about that time you went to your bed at summer camp. Huh? What? You can't do that. That's cheating. Anyway, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. The Maverick? Oh, no. You mean that weird kid, Mikhail? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mick? Uh, I mean, uh, the Maverick? I'll tell you what I know, but you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell everyone about that time you... Ah! Okay, fine. I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was going to meet some gr girls there for a date or something. Ugh, disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Let's go to the faraway plaza. I think we're done here. Oh! And then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's THE Maverick. Oh, the Maverick. You're so funny. Oh, oh. Wow, what an amazing story, the Maverick! Girls, girls, please. There's enough of me to go around. Mikhail, what are you doing? Ah! If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis. Finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Mikhail. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Mikhail, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Mikhail, don't do this to yourself. I'm going to ask one more time. Fight me, you wad. Don't be a chicken. <sighs> Are we really going to do this? Okay, then. Come on, Sonny. Let's take him down. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. I believe you. Oh. 
boom, 40 damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh... We need to attack, and you need to heal with that bandage. Okay. The Maverick starts making fun of Kel. How dare you? Aw, he's happy. I can't get rid of that happiness in any way. So let's let's just keep hitting him. I'm gonna encourage. Cause encouraging seems to damage uh Omori's or Sunny's, pardon me, Sunny's attack. Ow. <laughs> Not bad, but this fight's just getting started. <laughs> As expected of my rival, but I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. Yeah, you can keep telling yourself that. I don't want to use the first aid kit. Beautiful. Is that all you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. You look exactly the same. You, you look exactly the same. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. It's only a matter of time before you tire yourselves out. My victory is imminent. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm hmm You can make him angry all you want. I'll admit, I'm impressed. But you're still light years away from defeating me. No. This is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. Yeah, okay. Whatever you say, the Maverick. <laughs> no, I won't let it end like this. No. It can't be over for me. People of Earth, lend me your strength. Ah, Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth ten dollars. Let's get out of here. Ladies, please come back. I have more money! <sighs> it's a wig. That's really funny. Mikhail. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell us where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is, and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name. The Maver- Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. Her and Vance are major sugarheads, so... I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near Candy. What if I talk to him, though? Okay. Oh, 
Oh man, the Maverick really took a toll on my vocal cords. <sighs> hmm. Oh, come on. Darn bottle caps. Owen Kim Advance, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey, there she is. Hurry, Vance. Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us. Hey, Kim. Have you seen Aubrey any... Shoot! It's that nerd, Cal. Come on, Vance. We gotta go. Whoa, hold on there. I don't think you paid for those. Get out of the way, nerd. You don't know me. Hey, hey, hold on. I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I, I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <sighs> I've had enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. You tell me where Aubrey is, and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. I thought you said you weren't a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you never come back in here. Smiley, smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over the stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids. Smiley, smiley. We've been busted. Fine! Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. <laughs> Serves you right. <sighs> Wait, how will we find out where Aubrey is now? <sighs> Come on, Sonny. Let's go follow them. Hold up one sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. Can you give them candy? Sorry for the holdup. Let's go catch up to Kim and Vance. How... How'd you buy that? How, how'd you buy that, Kel? You, you forgot your wallet. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're going to die. <sighs> Let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim! I have something for you. You again, Kel? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I'll give you this whole ba big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. You can't buy us off with candy. Who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. And there's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim, Vance, I'm waiting. Heh, <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Aw, oh, man, really? I was sure that would work. This is a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait, please, Kim. You're the only lead we've got. Please take the big bag of candy. We... We even have Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists. If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that bag of Taffy and never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec. There's no need to fight. 
If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you the whole bag. But I want to fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. <sighs> what is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. Ooh. I'll show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. You say that. They're both gonna be attacking. Yeah, you encourage. Perfect. Perfect. 29! 18! Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna use the first aid kit. 30 damage! Jiminy Christmas! Oh, the, these numbers are not adding up. S don't bully Kel. Your face annoys me. Ow. I need that juice. <laughs> You're still nerds. Okay. We should be in the clear now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your 14 damage ain't shit. Ouch. That hurts. Can we, can we wrap this up? It's getting a touch redundant. Okay. Boom. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Dang. All I wanted was some taffy. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner, and Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot. Let's get out of here. Wait! Where do you think you're going? We won, so you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Aubrey's at the church. It's the one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was Mikhail or something. Come on, Kim. We gotta scoot. You know Mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Let's go. Smell you later. Nerds! Yeah, okay. Aw, oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh, well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least I think we do. Can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna heal you up. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can I take this? Nope. Okay. He's just gonna stay posed there. I guess. Fine by me. 